since Putin has unleashed his all-out war against Ukraine, it has resulted in massive war crimes, deliberate targeting in hospitals, shooting on civilians. In fact, the war since 2014 has never stopped. It already took the life of 14,000 Ukrainians. The forced disappearances in occupied Crimea of Crimean Tatars was a current practice. So was tortures in prisons in Luhansk and Donetsk regions. The world has also turned a blind hide to the war crimes committed by Putin since more than 22 years. Remember the Second Chechnya War in 1999, 2000. The war in Georgia in 2008. Last year, the European Court of Human Rights has very clearly stated that massive war crimes were committed there. And in Syria, the war is still ongoing. And we have to remind of the fact that Putin's forces has killed more Syrian civilians than even ISIS did. But the world leaders looked away. They were trying to re-engage Mr. Putin. They launched a reset. They were talking about a new architecture of security and trust. Trust. That's a mockery with Putin's regime. Now we have to be very clear. We don't know when the war in Ukraine will end. But there can be no business as usual with Putin's regime. Putin's regime is not a normal regime. It's based on crimes. Putin embodies the crimes. And, in fact, the Ukrainian people are fighting for us. They are fighting all war. All war of us, Americans, Europeans, of the civilized world. They must be also rewarded for that. Because they are fighting for our security. And we perfectly know, it must be stated clearly, that first of all, Mr. Putin must be sued for his war crimes. And so all his accomplices. It must be also very clear that there could be neither peace nor stability and security in Europe and the world as long as Mr. Putin remains in power. The Ukrainians are fighting all war. So they must be rewarded for that. There must be a clear path for them to the EU and to the NATO that will be a huge asset for NATO because they are showing that they are able to fight the war that we Europeans or Americans do not dare to fight Slavia Ukraine.